What is going on everybody and welcome to another Minecraft command block spell video where today I'm going to show you guys how to create a really awesome fireball spell in vanilla Minecraft. So it uses a couple command blocks now. I am on the beta 1.7 but you guys can do this in the 1.6 that just came out. Uh, it uses the new phantom and some really cool um, armor stands and just some really cool execute commands. So uh, with that being said I'll show you guys the commands so you guys can build this yourself but here is the the spell we're going to be doing today so if you throw oh uh oh <laughs> so yeah if you throw down the piece of paper which you could change whatever item and name it to whatever you want so if you throw it down boom you see the spark the particles you see the fire it places it down burns the mobs uh yeah so it's that's pretty cool i, I like the way that this works so you can see the particles right there um you can throw this down you can throw that down you can just you know you can run around and just throw some fireballs. I thought it was a really awesome spell, and it's really fun to play with. But yeah, you guys can build it right here like this. Uh, so I'm going to go over the commands. They'll all be in the description as well, maybe. I don't know. Might forget. But uh, yeah. So if you guys like this, uh, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and stuff. So let's get into the tutorial. So the first command you're going to need to do, execute at E. Name equals paper. Now, you can name it whatever you want, guys. You can name this to fireball and put it on a blaze powder or whatever it is that you want. Uh, you don't have to do paper, this is just for purpose of the tutorial that I was just playing with, made it, and I didn't want to go back and change it because I was lazy. Um, now, it's going to execute at E, type equals a player, or not a player, not an item, not a phantom, and not an armor stand. The, you don't technically need the armor stand at all. The only reason I have the armor stand in there is, is because I plan on doing some more particle-ish stuff using other mobs. Um, and just do a lot more, especially when scoreboards, uh, when I use the scoreboard, but this one doesn't involve scoreboards, so you guys can actually put this on your realm and start playing with it. So, uh, I just wanted to keep that in there. So, if you guys don't want the armor stand, you don't have to put the armor stand, but there's an armor stand, the paper, and the phantom. So, anyway, it's at R equals 2, and then uh, it's going to execute the squigglers with a kill the phantom. Uh, so, basically, uh, anything that the piece of paper goes near will kill a phantom. So if you throw this piece of paper, it'll teleport constantly uh, until it gets to, like, say, a pig or whatever, uh, and then it'll kill phantoms. Now, then this one is going to execute at the name equals paper. Like I said, you guys could just name this fireball, type equals item, name equals fireball to be more specific if you want. Uh, then this one's going to teleport at E, type equals not a player, uh, R equals 1, and then the ups, up arrows, and then a 1. Now, you could change that if you want it to be faster or slower. That's up to you guys. Uh, that would that's what makes this constantly go like so and then boom you guys see right there But uh, I didn't want it to go on forever. So this is what we're gonna do We're gonna TP at E type equals armor stand at E name equals paper now to make this a little bit better You could do type equals armor stand name equals fireball and then give that one armor stand uh, And vulnerability fire resistance and invisibility forever, uh, but if you guys want a brand new armor stand to be uh, summoned and everything that's what I use this for so any other armor stance in your world you're just gonna have to delete those um, But like I said, you can make this the way that you guys want to do it and then uh, it's gonna TP at the paper uh, Then it's gonna have a small tick delay so uh, you can't just spam it and break the system uh, This one's gonna be at an impulse and you're gonna kill the armor stand that goes with the piece of paper when it's uh, summoned over there uh, on that line of commands so this one's gonna kill the paper uh, then this one is going to teleport at E type equals a phantom uh, spinning uh, in the air basically so when right before the phantom dies it will spin uh, and then if and only if you don't hit an entity like so you will see that the um, phantoms teleport above this block and do a really cool particle effect kind of where they just like spread around uh, and then if that actually executes it will then kill the phantoms so that you could restart back over with the spell um, and then moving on to this line of spell command part uh, this one is going to be repeat and you're going to need to execute at name equals paper and then execute at all players within three blocks of that piece of paper uh, but like i said you can name it whatever you want and then effect at p speed zero so uh, whenever i do the effect at p speed zero zero true that's basically just not doing anything uh, except for executing 
when a player is near a piece of paper. Uh, like I said, I didn't add scores or anything, so uh, to make this way better and way better with multiplayer, you could have done scoreboard objectives and given players with scores that could use fireballs and stuff like that, but uh, I can get into that in a different video. But let's go to this one. It's going to summon an armor stand two blocks above this block when this block is activated. So whenever a player is within three blocks of a piece of paper, which is basically when you throw it down, it will then summon an armor stand and then teleport it using all these and stuff uh, but it'll summon an armor stand then affect that armor stand with invisibility and then summon a phantom right here this one's gonna summon a phantom right here this one's gonna summon a phantom right here and this one's gonna summon a phantom so there's gonna be four phantom summon commands uh, the reason for that is when uh, there are more than three phantoms teleporting in the same position and when they die gives a spread particle effect like you guys see when I throw it and actually hit an entity. So if I summon this pig and I throw this piece of paper and it hits him, it gives that effect for those four phantoms. Now, this last one is just going to uh, make sure the phantoms are invisible so you guys can't see them. Uh, the cool thing about phantoms is during the day they are on fire. So you guys can see that uh, it looks like you're throwing a fireball. Well, it's just the actual phantom is on fire when they are in daytime so it won't really look like that during the nighttime but you still could use it at nighttime because it will set the fire down and uh, you'll have like a a dark particle effect but uh yeah if you guys want the fire it's just kind of like for a daytime effect but uh, i thought it was really cool and then these are repeats so this one is going to be uh, affecting at the phantom invisibility and uh, then this one is going to be teleporting the phantom to the paper uh, like I said, you could change all of that. You could even summon phantoms and then, you know, just different stuff. Name the piece of paper to fireball and then execute AE name equals paper and then execute AE type equals not a player, not an item, not a phantom, not an armor stand. Uh, within two blocks, it will then set a block of fire and keep. So don't destroy the earth like that when I made some uh-ohs right there. But yeah, that's how you guys make awesome little fireball command with some pretty sweet particles and stuff. I really like this command, like it is, it is so cool. Like bang, look at that, just like toasted him up. Toasted, did he drop his, nope, he didn't even drop his stuff, so I burnt it. But yeah, you can like sit there and cook meat and uh, it does kill him, it does do some pretty awesome stuff. But yeah, if you guys did like this, remember to leave a like, comment down below. I'll make it better whenever people start getting the scoreboard objectives. Or I might even just show that case later on tomorrow or something, I don't know. But yeah, leave a like, comment down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm Dick, I'm Black Rose, and I'm out. Bye!